So after all of that went really horribly wrong for me, I ended up moving back home to where my, with my dad, who has always been kind of my lifelong coach. Kind of start back with the like basics, kind of get me grounded around how I feel the best. I think God was with me, but I didn't think, I didn't feel that God was with me. You know, it felt like, why, why am I going through this? Like, why did I have to experience this? Why do I have to, I feel like I'm always kind of like the person that comes up short or has this opportunity and not feel success or not feel like what I'm doing has some type of like the outcome that I want it to come like. I definitely found myself trying to find and search for God because Sometimes I think, you know, when you are in need, sometimes you do are searching for more, but I think it's also easy to try to like find a reason to like spite God or like people want to give a reason to like blame. But I felt a reason of just being thankful to still be okay, Th thankful that everything in my everyday life is okay still. wrestling something that I chose to do that I still want to do, I still feel like, hey, I've God's gotten me this close. I've already feel that I'm on the threshold. No matter how bad things are gone, and that doesn't define me as a wrestler that I can become and that I will become. Being Serbian, uh, it's family is very important. Growing up, I saw my grandparents a lot. As I got older, having that relationship with my grandmother, I always kind of was like the favorite grandchild. She always called me her golden boy. After she, she passed away this past August in 2023, I was represented Serbia and wrestled in the world championships in Belgrade a month later. So uh, where I ended up winning gold, becoming a world champion, winning my first world title. And so I was able to kind of dedicate that uh, the gold medal to, to her. For me, winning means, I would say everything, but I don't think it is. When I, when I go and compete, I'm trying to win and I'm trying to give my best, but if I don't, knowing everything's gonna be okay afterwards. You know, I know my family loves me, God loves me, I'm in a good place, and I'm always looking forward for the next challenge, whether that be to another tournament or different competition, or what's next for me in my next life's chapter. Coming from a small town, growing into, you know, accomplishing the highest thing you can do in a sport, also giving that uh, for the Serbian community, for being Serbian and being able to um, make my people proud and that I really want to be able to show them what that means to me to be Serbian. Just all of these th other factors show that it's worth it, you know? Not just accomplishing that or what's more to accomplish, but just all of those things that come along the way.